What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here. Going to bring you a classic tune. Lots of requests for this one. And it's a great song. Great crowd pleaser as well. It's also a great song to start working on your bar chords because it's got that one bar chord and the rest are the easy chords. It's a great transition song to get your bar chords going. So that's good stuff. Uh, anyway, I uh, really appreciate your support. You know, I'd appreciate you subscribing to this channel of mine. Um, taking this uh, journey with me. I really appreciate it. And uh, leaving your requests in the comments below, liking the video, all that stuff really helps me out. And I appreciate it. But anyway, let's zoom in right now and we'll break this one down. Here we go. All right, so there's a little intro and then there's a verse and a chorus section of the song. And then there's a little kind of bridge interlude. And that's pretty much it. And it's all... Uh, you know, pretty much beginner chords except for the B minor bar chord, which is when you bar the second fret and then you form what looks like an A minor. So fourth fret on the D, fourth fret on the G, third fret on the B, like that, bar the second fret. So that's the only bar chord we're gonna need. Let's go into the intro. It's gonna start with a G major chord. A minor. So you got a G major, three, two, open, 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 three, right there. And the strumming, a good just starting strum that will help you get along if you're a beginner and you're working on your strumming, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, G. A minor. And that A minor is first fret on the B, second on the D, second on the G. And then again, G. And then A minor again, and then G. To that B minor, and that's when the vocals come in. So really what you're doing is you're doing G to A minor, G to A minor, then G into B minor for the verse. So here's the verse, it's uh, B minor to G. And then it does that again, B minor to G. Then A minor C, C to D, then G to D. So here's the verse again. B minor to G, B minor to G, then A minor to C, and then C and D have a little rhythm thing that we got to learn then a G, and then a D, and that is the verse. So here it is, B minor. B minor to G. Same thing again, B minor. B minor to G. Now we're gonna go to A minor. A minor to the C, to da da da. A minor to C, A minor, now check out the C, one, two, da 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 da, so on the C chord it's one, two, da da da, so all for the C, dun, da, da da da, then on the D, da da da, so one, two, da da da, D D D. That's the verse, but there's a little, you could play a little A minor as a turnaround back into the verse. So like, G to the D, two, three, four, 
Um, it's just a quick little thing, and if you don't play it, it's really not going to affect any of the vocals or the song at all, but it's just a little kind of passing by kind of chord. So now let's do the uh, verse one more time, and then I'll say the chords of the chorus. So B minor to G. Same thing again. Now A minor. And then the C thing. Da, 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 G. Then the D. Now we'll go right into the chorus, which is going to be A minor. A minor C. Da, 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 da. So that same thing that's in the verse happens here in the chorus. C, 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 da, 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 da. So A minor. And now G to F, G, G, F, 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 C. G. And then there's a little tag on G before it goes back to the A minor again. So watch, A minor, here's the chorus. To C, da, 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 D, 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 G, F. And the quick little G turnaround, what we really want to do is we're going to play the B string of that G chord. So then what you get is what's called like that walk down from C to A minor. So it looks like this now. So instead of a full G chord, what we're going to do is we're going to take our ring finger off. Middle finger is going to move up to the second fret of the A string, which that comes from the G chord, but we're just going to emphasize that B string, and then it goes back to the A minor of the chorus. So here's the chorus. A minor to C. Da, 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 da. Now G, F, C. Walk down. A minor. C. And the F chord I'm playing is ring finger on the third of the A, pinky on the third of the D, middle finger on the second of the G, index on the first of the B. And that's how I'm playing that chord. There's uh, this way, there's the bar chord, you know, so there's a few different ways, but on acoustic I like this way. Like that. So now... Um, that's the, you know, all the bulk of the song. There's this little interlude section, or we could call it a bridge, and it's F to C, F to C with the D thing that we've done earlier, and then G. So I'll show you. So here's the bridge. There's no singing. It's just a little musical part. So F for four. One, two, three, four, to C, two, three, four. Again, F. And then that C, D, 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 and then G, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, and a verse. We'll just go through the whole thing now. To G. Now here comes the A minor. C. I'll go right to the chorus here. A minor. A minor to C. C, 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 D, 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 G. F, 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 C. C, you walk down A minor. F 
again. So forth and so on. Don't forget that intro is G up to A minor, G up to A minor, G into it. So that's the other little thing just to remember. Um, and that is it. Great song. Great song to get your first bar chord going too. And a quick little bar chord tip since the camera's rolling and this is the end of the video. I might as well throw a little tidbit in there about bar chords. And that is that when you're practicing them, a good way to build up the strength and the muscle memory is um, alternate practicing the chord between the bar and the shape. And so what I mean is one time practice it where the, you do the bar first, and then the shape, strum it. Then next time do the shape first, then the bar, strum it, and alternate those. And then other times do the whole chord, keep the shape as you take your hand off keeping the shape put it back down and adjust it. So those are three things to do that will get you that bar chord quicker. All right? Good luck. All right, there it was. Thanks for hanging out with me. Really appreciate it. Uh, also, thanks again for subscribing to this channel of mine. Uh, if there's a lesson you'd like to see me do, like a song or a technique, anything you can think of, uh, like this video and go ahead and leave it in the comments below. I uh, really appreciate that. Uh, also, hopefully, I'll see you again in another video real soon. So take care. And we'll see you later.